Hello and welcome to Baggy Gaming and this is the Sims 4 tutorial how to make animated wallpapers part 2. In the first part I told you some basic info about animated wallpapers, showed you how to change the material shader setting and how to add some new light overlay texture files. In this second part I will be showing you how to make those texture files move on your wall, how to give them different speeds and how to change the scale of it if necessary. The programs you will need are the Sims 4 Studio and a 2D editor like Photoshop or GIMP. In this tutorial I will be using Photoshop. Start by opening the package file you made in part 1 of this tutorial. Then click the warehouse tab. Then click the first material definition line. Go to materials and click on edit items. We're now going to add some missing shader data and link the new image files to this data. To start first click on add. Then go to field, click the drop down menu and start to type light overlay. Select Light Overlay 1. Then go to Type Code and select Texture. Now we're first going to add some more missing shader data before filling in the group, instance and type lines. So click Add again. Then go to Field and fill in Light Overlay, oh, light overlay Scroll Speed. For Type Code choose Float. And count, we're going to change the 1 to a 2. Then press add again. Go to field. Fill in light overlay 1 UV scale. Type code float. And also the 1 into 2. We also need to add these same shader data for our second light overlay texture. To make this easy, you can copy light overlay 1 by selecting light overlay 1 and pressing copy. Copy Light Overlay 1 Scroll Speed and copy Light Overlay 1 UV Scale. After that, change the fields from Light Overlay 1 to Light Overlay 2. Also here, Light Overlay 1 Scroll Speed to Light Overlay 1, uh, Light Overlay 2 Scroll Speed and Light Overlay 1 UV Scale to Light Overlay 2 UV Scale. Now to link our light overlay image files to the shader, we need to know their group, instance and type codes. So first click save. Then go to the first new image file and click on data. Now copy its group, instance and type serial codes to a text file. Do the same for the second DST image file, but as the group and type will be the same, you only will have to copy the instance. After you've copied everything, click the material definition line again. Then click again on edit items. Now click on light overlay 1 and paste your just copied serial codes into the right places. After that select light overlay 2. Again copy everything into the right place and after that press save. We now linked both our light overlay texture files and added the missing shader data to the short wall. But we also need to do these same steps for the medium and tall wall. As it will take a lot of time showing you all of these steps again, you will have to do this yourself by clicking the second material definition line, clicking edit items, adding all missing shader data and linking the DST image files like I just showed you. Then do the same for the last material definition line. If you don't remember the exact steps, just re-watch that part of the video. If you're done, click save and after that OK. Now we're going to make those light overlay texture files move. To do so, click the first material definition line and after that the edit items button. Then click the light overlay 1 scroll speed line. Now the zero value will let us move the texture file in a certain speed to the left or to the right. The one value will let it move in a certain speed up or down. To let the red fish move to the right we will need a number higher than zero. So in this case we're going to use 0.5. If you want it to move faster type 0.6. If you want it to go slower type 0.4. To let it move to the ceiling we will need a number that's lower than 0, so in this case we're going to take minus 0.3. We're going to let the blue fish swim in the opposite direction, so to the left and from the ceiling to the floor. So first click the light overlay to scroll speed line. Then go to the zero value and type in minus 0.5. For a one value type in 0 0.3. 
Now click the light overlay one UV scale line. Then for both the zero and one value type in the number one. This will keep the scale of the texture file 256 by 256 pixels. Do the same for the light overlay 2 UV scale. So select it and change the 0 to a 1. After that click save. Then click save again to save your whole package file. To make it all work you will have to make these same changes to the medium and tall walls too. Just like you had to do for adding the missing shader data. So click the other material definition lines and fill in the exact same values as you did for the first material definition line. After you have done this, press save, press save again, place your package file into your mods folder and test it out in game. In game, make a wall, go to the wall section and search for your animated wallpaper. I will use the search bar and type in tutorial. Then select it and use shift to fill your whole wall with this wallpaper. After that, go to lift mode and press the play button. If everything went right, the red fish will swim to the right and up and the blue fish will swim to the left and down. If you think that your wallpaper looks a bit too crowded now, close the game and open studio again. Then start by making the fish on your light overlay image files a bit smaller. To do so, first open Photoshop. Then go to file and click on open. Then double click your light overlay texture file and press Ctrl 0 to fit your image to the screen. Now select your red fish layer. After that press Ctrl J to copy it. Hide layer 2, then press Ctrl T, go to a corner, press and hold shift and drag it in. After that hit enter. If you want to have multiple fish, you can copy that same layer by pressing Ctrl J. Then press V for the move tool, Click on the line and drag it somewhere else. I'm going to place one of the fish here and the other one is going to get uh, to this spot. After that, go to file and click save as. Then give it a name, for format choose PNG and click on save and after that OK. Now do the same for the blue fish but first hide the red fish. Click the eyeball in front of the blue fish, then select that layer and press Ctrl J. Hide layer 3, press Ctrl T, go to a corner, press and hold shift, then drag it in, press enter, uh, press Ctrl J and maybe another time and then move them to their new spot. So in this case we're going to make it like uh, this. Then go to file and click save as again. Then give it a name, change format into PNG, click save, click OK and go back into studio. Back in studio select the first DST image file, that of the redfish and click on import. Select the new redfish texture file and click on open. After that do the same for the blue fish, so select it, click import, select the new texture file and click on open. Then click save and click ok. If you would test your wallpaper in game right now it would look like this. To make it look more like my sharks wallpaper we're going to change the UV scale of the light overlay texture files too. So first go back to studio. Now go to the material definition line again and click on edit items. Go to light overlay 1 UV scale and change both values, both 0 and 1, into 0 0.25. What this will do is it will make the texture 4 times bigger. So instead of showing each texture on one tile, which is 256 pixels wide, the textures will now be shown on 4 tiles. Do the same for the light overlay to UV scale and then click on save. So 1 into 25, 1 into 25 and click save. Like before make the same changes to the other two material definition lines and after that test it out in game again. But not before clicking save again and clicking ok of course. 
Like you see right here, the textures are stretched out over 4 tiles now, which will make your wall look less crowdy. As you now know a lot more about how to make animated wallpapers too, you can try to make your own. Remember that you can combine this tutorial with my tutorial about making murals to get even more possibilities. Keep in mind that when making these kind of wallpapers, you'll probably never end up the first try with what you want to accomplish. It took me several hours to make my first animated wallpapers and I'm still having trouble sometimes while trying to make others. If you find out something new, please share it in the comments to help others too. If you like this tutorial, please hit that thumbs up button and share it so more people will be able to find it. Let me know what you think about this tutorial in the comments down below. If you don't want to miss any future tutorials, custom content videos or the Sims 4 effect player episodes, then please subscribe and hope to see you next time here on Bikey Gaming.